Wingspan is a beloved board game that in its short time on the market has rocketed its way up the board game geek charts and found a home in gamers' hearts. The tabletop version of this game has amazing component quality, beautiful artwork, and attention to detail, and at its core is a fantastic tableau building game that encourages multiple playthroughs and rewards strong decision making and strategy. To say the digital version has a lot to live up to would be an understatement. Thankfully, Monster Couch has crafted a beautiful digital version of the game that stays true to and honors the tabletop version while translating its aesthetics to your computer monitor or gaming console. It's not perfect and somewhat lacks in depth, but those looking for a digital alternative for Wingspan, a way to play it in a more automated fashion against AI, or a simpler way of playing with friends online will find a lot to love in this faithful and beautiful adaptation. I have to begin by talking about the look and the aesthetics of this game. This is probably one of the areas the game had the most to prove due to the fact that the tabletop version is such a beauty to look at and hold. In this regard, they have knocked it out of the park. The game oozes charm and is relaxing to look at and listen to. The colorful pastel and cartoon looking art style suits Wingspan perfectly. There are subtle animations in the buttons and areas you can click on that give it a more dynamic feel while never making it too overwhelming. The bird cards even each have their own animated version of the bird that helps these cards come alive. I mentioned the way it sounds and while some might find the music repetitive over time, I actually thought it was perfect. It's a very relaxing and subdued sound that not only fits this style of game, it's also not very intrusive. There are even some really subtle additions that I appreciated. For instance, when you make progress on one of your objective cards, the objective card pops out of your hand a little and shakes to make you aware of it. It's these little touches that are things that could only be done in a digital version of the game. You can also constantly see a running tally of your overall score and your round scores at the click of a button. No need to add things up and calculate constantly. Plus, it's very easy to change over to your opponent's board and take a look at things if you need to. Overall, the graphics certainly aren't going to make your PC or console sweat, but they fit the style of game perfectly and I honestly had a hard time finding any complaints whatsoever about the overall design and look. Alright, let's get into the meat of things and talk about how Wingspan Digital plays. First of all, this is the Wingspan you know and love. It's a faithful translation and you won't be surprised by any of the mechanics if you've played it before. If you haven't, however, there's a lengthy and thorough tutorial that does a pretty great job of explaining all the rules and mechanics and introducing you to how to interact with all the elements in the digital version. My only note is that there isn't a breakdown of the rules that you can read after the fact or review. Your only option is to sit through the tutorial again until you get to the part you'd actually like clarity on. Likewise, there's an Automa variant of the game that you can play that has no tutorial or explanation whatsoever, which seems like a bit of an oversight, but we'll get into my thoughts on Automa in a little bit. Overall, it's a great way to learn Wingspan if you've never played before and get started with it. Honestly, the best part of this digital adaptation is the automatic quality of life features and things that make the game flow a little quicker and smoother. For instance, your egg count is given to you at a simple glance, no more adding up across all your birds as you go. Likewise, you get an easy to see tally of your current food as well. And as I mentioned before, there's no need to add up any scores as that's all done for you and you can check on it anytime you like. The game also offers an alternative view that is closer to the board of the tabletop version for those that prefer it. The one thing I appreciated above all else is the care that Monster Couch took in making this a faithful adaptation and doing justice to the tabletop version. One minor complaint I had is that when opponents have abilities on their bird cards that affect you between their turns, the message box that alerts you can be a bit confusing for unfamiliar players. It highlights the player portraits at the top, but rather than amplify the portrait where the ability originates from, it amplifies yours. I knew what was going on, but I've played Wingspan a lot. New players could be a little caught off guard a bit in these moments and not quite understand what's going on. It's a minor complaint, but just something worth noting. Another thing to note, and this is more so a comment on Wingspan in general than it is the digital version, there isn't a lot of player interaction in this game. And with things now automated and no table talk, it really does feel like you're all playing your own individual games that just happen to be keeping score against each other. Again, it's not a knock on the game, it's just a point that I think is amplified now that the game has gone digital. Something I absolutely loved is that you can keep an archive of your completed games. Did you have a really close game that you don't want to soon forget? You can keep it in the archive and revisit the final score and board states whenever you'd like. It's a really nice touch that I was surprised and delighted to see here. Likewise, you can halt multiple games while they're in progress with the AI and pick them up at a later time. Again, another great touch. 
So honestly, I don't have a lot of criticisms of Wingspan Digital in the way that it plays, but one thing I was a little disappointed with was the lack of single player modes. As expected, you can play against the AI at multiple difficulties, but that's about it. From a single player perspective, I think it would have been really great to see a light campaign of some kind, perhaps exploring different regions of the world, acquiring birds as you go, maybe building up a deck, something to offer an alternative and a new way to play Wingspan. This version does a great job of translating the original, but I would have loved to see a new way to experience the original, and a single player campaign of some kind would have been a fantastic way to accomplish this. Likewise, I found the inclusion of the Automa variant to be a bit puzzling. For those unfamiliar, Stonemaier Games includes Automa variants of their games where players can play the tabletop games against an automated opponent. Basically, it's a way to enjoy the board games alone when you don't have a group. However, given that Wingspan Digital has AI for you to play against, I thought the inclusion of the Automa format was kind of unnecessary. Also, it doesn't help that there isn't any tutorial or explanation for what is happening with the Automa opponent. Having never played the Automa version of the tabletop game, I entered this mode and honestly didn't really have a clue what was happening. My only other note is that as of now, there are only two modes of AI difficulty, easy and normal. I would love to see a hard or even very hard option for those that are looking for a bigger challenge. As it stands, I didn't find the normal AI to be that difficult, so other options would be really welcome. Lastly, let's talk about the online, which is a big selling point. I thought the inclusion of both a real-time and asynchronous mode was awesome. This gives you the option to not only play a regular online game of Wingspan, but also one where you have up to 24 hours to take your turn and the game can go on over a long period of time. I'm not sure how often I would play it this way, but the option to do so is a welcome addition. I personally didn't have any connection issues with the online play whatsoever and it basically functioned as smooth and effectively as the single player version. There is a distinct lack of ways to chat with your opponent unfortunately, which is kind of a shame. There's no text chat or voice chat. Uh, even the ability to emote in some way is absent. It would have been nice to have some way to communicate with friends or opponents without resorting to external options. That being said, it was an absolute joy to play Wingspan online, and I could see myself just sinking a lot of time into this mode. Also, you won't find any ranked or competitive mode here, which I'll admit probably goes against the overall feel and vibe of this game anyway, but some way to stack your Wingspan abilities up against others would have been nice. Overall, the online options are a little slim, but it's exactly what I wanted out of an online Wingspan experience. The gameplay is so beautiful and fun and it's hard to really complain when I'm able to sit back, relax, and play Wingspan online whenever I want without having to get a group together, which, given the state of the world right now, is a definite bonus. And finally, the game includes a sort of bird museum that you can reveal by playing Wingspan. This keeps a running tally of all birds you've drawn or revealed in games you've played. It's sort of a pseudo-achievement system, but also a way to admire each and every one of the birds. You can read the flavor text or even have it read to you, which is a great touch. And I should mention that when you play the birds in any game you play of Wingspan, it will also read you the flavor text, which again, was just a great addition. Black Vulture. Turkey vultures have a better sense of smell, so black vultures follow them to food. Overall, this is a fantastic adaptation of a fantastic game, and I love that I have more ways to play Wingspan whenever I want. Even better, I get to play a beautiful digital version that is faithful and true to the original without the setup time or the need to get a group together. It's not perfect, and there's some improvements and additions that could be made to take this to the next level, but it's clear to see how much love and care has gone into this, and the result is a game that more than lives up to the lofty achievements of the tabletop version.